It is Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. Reese is right here. We always got to stay connected to, to the community. I met my guy Jermaine, man. He won some tickets with us. Uh-huh. And uh, I got to meet him in person, heard of his story. I told him I wanted to get him up here. We had a little delay, but we got the homie in the building right now, man. Sure. You doing all right today, sir? Yes, I am. All right, man. I, you can see if you're watching the video, Jermaine's dealing with some difficulties and some challenges, and uh, he's got a story behind those challenges. I'm going to kind of let him tell you guys about that, and we're going to get into the meat of this thing. Thank you, Reese. Mm-hmm. My name is Jermaine Hawkins. December 20th, 2014, I was shot by a friend playing with a gun. I told him I don't play with guns, and he ignored all the signs. As I removed myself out the car, that's when it happened. I had the opportunity to see the outside of heaven. Mm. I was standing on clouds, but I couldn't see my legs. Mm. My tattoo on my arm was gone. The gates was tall and gold. The steps was all white. And behind the gates was clouds that you won't see on earth with the sun rays behind it. My grandma came down as the gate slowly opened. She came down all white, looked healthy and beautiful. Mm. She said, it's not my time. When I was in the hospital, I flatlined three times, and they didn't. Had to bring me back. And the doctor said they never seen anything like that. So I'm just here today to tell y'all that never give up. God is real. That's right. So, Jermaine, you were in a, in a car with somebody. Yeah. And they were playing with a firearm. Yeah. Messing around with it. I told him I don't play with guns, but he ignored me. And you were trying to get out the car. Yeah, but I got out the car, and that's when it happened. And that's when it went off, and that's basically all you remember till you get to the end, to the part of the story that you just shared with us. Yes, and the my grandma and my little brother was there, mm. and my grandma thought I hit somebody's car, mm. and my little brother said no, it was Jermaine laying on the ground. Mm. So she came outside and seen me in a puddle of blood, mm. and my best friend. Went to go get his mom, stepdad, so they could come down. Mm-hmm. And his mom, grandma, grandmama, so, you know, to keep her calm. Why his stepdad was holding the pressure, where the blood was coming from. Yeah. So it's just a miracle that I'm still here. Okay, I understand that. Well, where did your friend, do you know where your friend got the gun from? Um, he just had it, huh? It's like he, we was in my house, me and my best friend, we were asleep. Mm-hmm. And he kept calling and calling and calling. Mm. And that's when we went outside. Mm. My best friend got in the car first. Mm-hmm. Then that's when I got in the car. Mm-hmm. He pulled out the gun. I said, hey, man, I don't play with guns. Mm-hmm. He said, shut up. That's when I removed myself from the car. Mm-hmm. And that's when they said the gun went off. I got you. I got you. So what would you say to anybody listening that's a kid maybe right now that has friends that has guns or they know they're dealing with, with firearms or something like that? I tell them, you know, remove yourself from that crowd. Mm-hmm. Put yourself on a positive path. Mm-hmm. You don't got to be the cool guy trying to hang out with people that's trying to make you look cool. Mm-hmm. You know, be your own person. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes the people you're around might make you a bad, make you make bad decisions right. in life to the point where you're going to look back and be like, why did I hang out with mm-hmm. those type of people? I got you. Now, I see you in the things that you're dealing with just off of physically looking at you, right? But then I go on your Instagram page, and you might be the funniest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> he always joking on people, oh, messing yeah. with people. And, man, your spirits just seem to seem so good, man. How do you stay so positive? That was always my character before the accident. Mm. I was always silly. Mm-hmm. And when the, you know, the accident happened, it was hard. Mm-hmm. But my personality and my goofiness, you know, brought me back also. Right. But my family and my mom, my mom is my rock. Yeah, she came she, up here with you to pick your tickets up the yes. day you want. <laughs> like, she's my rock. Mm-hmm. She willed me back. Mm. Whatever I was going through, she was going with it, going through with it as well with me. Mm-hmm. So it was, i give her anything because mm. that's a strong woman. I got you. I got you. Now you got you got your buddy with you. She's the one that called that day yeah. for you <laughs> to win those tickets. What's up, Miss Lady? Talking to the microphone. What's your name? My name is Carrie. Carrie, you the one that called me that day to win them tickets. I was. He, <laughs> it, actually, we were on our way to, I think, a doctor's appointment, and mm-hmm. he was like, "Call, call." 
Mm-hmm. And of course, I didn't think we would get through. And by some miracle, we did. And it led us here. Mm-hmm. It wow. did. It did. You said he's a great guy. You love being with him. Jermaine has one of the most positive spirits ever. Mm-hmm. I've, I've been with people who have had spinal cord injuries. Mm-hmm. You walk into Jermaine's room and his smile is the first thing you see. <laughs> and he always looks on the brighter side of life. And I feel like that, along with his mom mm-hmm. and the rest of his family, is what has gotten him to this point. And I tell him all the time, it's all in your head. Mm. Your day starts and ends with what's up here. So as long as you have a positive outlook on life and mm-hmm. you tell yourself, no matter what, I'm going to do it and I'm going to get it. And that's what he does. And he pushes other people. So because this could be any of us. He wasn't born this way. Right. So, yeah, he's my guy. That's yeah. what's up. And you are my girl, <laughs> sister. <laughs> well, that's what's up with you, man. I appreciate you coming and sharing your story. And I think that you being willing to share what, what happened with you is going to help save some lives and help save some other people from going through the similar experience. That's what I would love to do, you know, help young folks about gun violence. Like, hey, you know, be around mm. positive people. Mm. Just because you want to be cool with them. No, nah, they're not cool. They lead you onto a bad, bad path and make bad decisions. Gotcha. But you know, hey, thank you, Reese, for everything. Oh, yeah. Got it's a blessing, you know. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you, man. You definitely a friend of the show, a friend of our, our Hot 1079 family. Uh, we're going to bring you along to some of the events for Bullying is Not Hot this year. And we're also going to hook you up with a special prize during Birthday Bash, all right? Mm-hmm. I, know, I know you like this station. <laughs> no, this your station. It sure is. <laughs> so we definitely got to hook you up for that, all right, man? I appreciate you coming by once again. You know, and also... Things happen to you so God can work through you. Mm. So that's what I feel. This this happened to me, but God put a testimony in me so I can share with the world. I got you. Now make sure you follow this man on Instagram if you feel like laughing every day, man. <laughs> Tell him where to uh, find you at on social media. Jizzle's still here. Okay, Jizzle's still here. Make sure you follow him right now. Of course, it's Reese's Hot 107.9. I appreciate y'all coming. Thank no problem. you.